All right, we are here with Sarah Maud you know, currently one shot off the lead, shot your second round of three under 69. Run us through your day. I looked at your scorecard. You had your three birdies within your, what, first five holes, I think it was, um, and then part out the rest. Uh, just run us through your day. You know, we're a little frustrated coming off the 18th, but nothing to frown about. Um, just run us through how everything went. Uh I had a really good start. I mean, I started three under after five holes. I mean, I was just playing so well, and I keep I kept playing well the rest of the day. I just uh, I just putts were not going in, and uh, but I I did play well. I didn't give up, and on the back nine, unfortunately, as again, I just made nine pars, and I made two really like two maybe seven footers to save par. So that was I had that going for me. But other than that, I mean, it was just like a little bit frustrating on the back nine. But they'll fall tomorrow. Right. You mentioned a bunch of lip outs. Yeah. You said trying to keep your cool. You tend to get a little fired on the course. Did you think you kind of held your composure well, or how did that uh, go for you? Kind of just put it in the back of your mind, like you said. Hopefully they'll drop tomorrow. Yeah, I try to stay patient. That's been my 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 thing the past couple of weeks is just stay patient. They're gonna fall, and I mean it. It was weird because they all start falling at the beginning, and then it just I went to like nothing fell. So I just I I just tried to keep patient and. Uh, as I said, I'm just going to do the same thing tomorrow. Now, you're number 10 in the Velvet Grace for the card. Obviously, that's why we're here. Ten cards are going to be awarded at the end of this weekend. Coming in at number 10, obviously, you're right on the edge. What was that pressure coming into this weekend, or how are you kind of dealing with the whole idea of, i got to play well this week to hold that spot? Well, honestly, I didn't, I didn't change anything. I was trying not to think about it. It was hard because a lot of people were reminding me of it. But uh, personally, I just try to have fun, and I, I was, I'm playing great lately. I'm hitting the ball well, and I'm stroking it well, so I just really just, I've just been having fun. Awesome. Now, I was looking at kind of the week by week on players when they entered the race, when they dropped out, some have dropped in and out. You're the only player on tour, I don't know if you know this, who have entered the rankings, dropped out, and have re-entered again and are currently ranked. Obviously, you're a fighter. I mean, what is that week to week kind of how does have you, I guess, kind of managed the whole race this whole season? Uh, how did I manage? I kind of, that's going to sound bad, a little ignored it a little bit. I try not to think about it. I just try to play. And uh, I was very happy with the way I played so consistent all through the season. So that's definitely a positive point for me, and I'm just going to build on that. Awesome. Now heading into tomorrow, one shot off right now. What's, I guess, the key to keep it within or obviously wanting to come out on top? Well, I was in that position last week, so I guess we're just going to try to, yeah, keep fighting. And every the thing with this, this golf course is that even if you have a bad start, like today Nicole had a little rougher start in uh, – but she came back, you know, you can always, it's never finished until the end. And this golf course can, you know, penalize you a lot, but it can give you a lot too if you play it smart. So Perfect. that's the plan. All right. Well, thanks for joining us.